Hey guys, it's Aubrey for new here. Hi and welcome. Today I am so excited to be finally showing you guys my girls bedroom makeover. for my girls was definitely, honestly, it made me tear up a little bit when I was all done with it because for the longest time, I wanted to give my girls a beautiful room. And when I first obviously had kids, I didn't even have the time to get around to really like decorate their nursery. So for me, this is like, this was a big win be able to be able to give my girls a really beautiful room that they absolutely love to wake up in and they love to play in. So for this room, I want to show you guys a lot of my decorating ideas and how this room came together. I want to start with this wallpaper. This wallpaper is from Rebel Walls. This is a wallpaper that I ended up installing and this is not a peel and stick this was a uh, the type of wallpaper that you have to apply the paste first and then you go in and you lay the panels now i've never done this before but i actually really love the process of it and it's a lot easier than it sounds i've worked with peel and stick in the past multiple times it's a it's very easy to apply but i would say this is actually maybe easier because you're not having to work with the self-adhesive that like sticks to the walls like it, it can get a little messy but I really enjoyed the process of installing this wallpaper so I chose this wallpaper because I wanted to give my girls a garden fairy themed room that's what they're really loving right now and I didn't want to play it safe with the wallpaper I really wanted to find something that it was going to be the main decor of the room and then all of my extra accessories are gonna be more simple so this wallpaper is just full of colors it's full of butterflies flies and birds and it's just there's lemons and there's cherry blossoms and it's just so perfect for my girls and when I was installing it they couldn't I couldn't even get them out of here to install it they were in here the entire time and they just they loved it their reaction was just like oh, wow like the and it's so cute because now every time my little girl goes to bed I have two girls so they share the room and every time my youngest one goes to bed she loves to give the bird that's under her bunk bed a kiss good night so it's just like the sweet little moments that I absolutely love so this wallpaper I ended up um, wrapping three walls in the, my girls room because the wallpaper is very busy and it's full of color I was really able to pull a lot of accent colors out of it to decorate with. So moving on, I wanna talk about my girl's bed. This bed is from Target. You can also purchase it from Wayfair.com. I will link everything down below in case you guys wanna replicate this room for your own kids' room or grandkids' room. But this bed I actually fell in love with and this was the first purchase that I bought out of everything in this room. I love the wooden shutters that this bed has. I love how cute it is and I feel like it can also you know, grow with my girls as they get older. Um, and I just love the look of it. It's very simple, um, but it's still, it's just so cute. So my girls call this bed their treehouse. So on the bed, I really wanted to keep their bedding simple. I found these really pretty duvet covers from H&M. I will see if they still have them currently because I have had these for quite some time. Um, I'll see if H&M is still carrying them, but I really love the white simple. It has a very simple fringe detailing on the bed. And then I wanted to just pair up their bed with some accent pillows. For their pillows on their bed, I really wanted to pull in some fun colors and patterns. So I have three decorative pillows that I have on each of their beds. They're all both the same on each bed. And so I have this large Euro size pillow. This is actually from the new Studio McGee line and from Target and they just launched their new bedding. And this is one of their 
pillows that they have. I love the print of it. I love how subtle the pattern is, but I also really love the ruffled edging that this pillow comes with. And I thought this would be a really great way to mix in a little bit of pattern to their bed. Then I also have this 20 by 20 size throw pillow. This actually is a pillow cover. And this one is more of like a sage green. This color also pulls in a lot of the wallpaper color as well, so that was really nice to accent with. And then I found this really cute lumbar pillow from Target. This is from the Studio McGee line as well. And this one, I really like the jute detailing of it. It adds a lot of texture to the bed, and I love that it wasn't patterned like the big Euro size one, so I felt like between these three pillows, it felt well balanced, and it just added a really cute touch to my girl's room. So for the decor in my girl's room, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I didn't really want to um, add too many things because this room gets messy already. <laughs> so I wanted to keep the decor a little on the lighter side, but I want to show you guys this dresser behind me. This white dresser is about four years old. I bought it for my girl's nursery and that was pretty much it. That was like their dresser in their, crib, in their room. So this dresser has definitely grown with my girls for the last four years. I ended up switching out the dresser knobs. It came with just these basic white knobs, but I switched them out for these really cute pink ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're very affordable. I believe these were $3.99 each, and I love the little touch of pink. So for this dresser, I wanted to decorate it, of course, but I wanted to kind of find things that would pull the room together, but still keep it simple and minimal. So I found this really beautiful vintage inspired mirror from Hobby Lobby. It was very affordable and I really love the bronze coloring of it. It has this very simple scrolling detail at the top. And then I also really love that that tied in the coloring of my girl's bedding as well. In addition to the mirror, I really wanted a nighttime lamp. Um, this lamp I got at Target. I thought this would be perfect for my girl's room. And what I really liked about it is I love the see-through glass. I love that you can still see the wallpaper behind it. Um, and then I love the gold accents. And then I really like that at the back of the lamp, it has this USB port where you can actually charge like the iPad or you know if you have any fun kid gadgets. I like that I could actually just plug it into the lamp instead of having to find an outlet in their room. So I took my daughter to the garden center and we wanted to pick out some fresh flowers for her room and I also wanted to find a really cool plant. I found this purple plant from our local garden center. This is called the Octalius triangularis purple plant and I found this green vase from Hobby Lobby and I wanted to find a plant that would complement it and all the green plants just it was not working. It wasn't the right shade. And so then I stumbled up, uh, across this purple plant and I thought, oh my gosh, that would actually be perfect for her room because this wallpaper has little pops of purple and the flower detailing. And this plant is also super unique. And what's interesting about it is that whenever the room temperature is cold, the leaves will actually close together. And then when the room temperature is warmer, they open up. So it's a very cool and very pretty plant that I love to have in their room. So on top of their dresser, I have these um, really cute fairy books as well. I love these books. I thought they would be cute. My girls love to read at nighttime as well. So I paired these three books up on her dresser and I also put the purple plants on top. It was nice because it gives that plant just a little bit of height tight so that way it's easier to showcase. I also have my girl's bunny. This bunny is so cute. I will link it down below um, the company that it's from, but my oldest daughter named her Lucy already. <laughs> so we have Bunny Lucy that is on the top of the dresser. We also have the nighttime machine, which is great for my girls when they sleep at night. We turn it on to the ocean sound and they always fall asleep to it. And then in addition, I also found this amazing room fragrance from Amazon. This is from the brand Illum and they have a bunch of different scents, but I picked up this scent and it's called Dream. And this scent is so beautiful. It's so lovely. Um, but it smells like it smells perfect. Like for a kid's room, I absolutely love this scent. So I have this on top of their dresser. Then I also added another cute little pink flower pot that my oldest daughter picked out. We found a white terracotta pot for it and this just pairs really nicely on top of her. And then of course she also picked out a cute little fairy to put in her flowers. So very fun, very girly, um, and very fairy garden themed as you can tell. And then I also have this cute little flower frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. I did print up a picture 
of my girls. It's currently being shipped <laughs> right now. So there's no picture of them in it yet. So then I have this cute little brown jar. This is from Hearth and Hand. I really liked having this on their dresser because we put hair ties or we also put, my girls love to put their princess jewelry in it. So it's just a nice little way to clean up any clutter that is resting on their dresser. And we just put it in the glass canister. So that is the dresser in my girls' room. I also wanted to talk about um, this nook that I had over by the bed. I found these really great organizing baskets from Target. If you guys missed my Target haul or any of my vlogs, I like to share a lot of the decor that I pick up along the way to kind of help pull my room together. So these baskets I shared in one of my vlogs, I believe, or a Target haul. I can't remember. These are great. They were, the smaller one was $20. The, the bigger one was $30. And these are really great to help keep things organized in a kid's room. I In one basket, we like to put the all of their blankets and the other basket, we like to fill it up with all of their stuffed animals. So this is a really great way where they can have their stuff still out and displayed, but it's nicely organized. So in this little nook, I also wanted to put some of their reading books and I found this floating wall shelf from Hobby Lobby and I was originally thinking about painting it, but after seeing the wallpaper and how everything else was turning together I actually didn't mind that this was um, gray with the little white birds I actually thought it worked perfectly and it wasn't a, that big of a deal to paint it so I loved this shelf it was very affordable it was only cost me $15 and I actually liked putting it over in this section of the bed because originally we had this bed centered in the middle of the room and because this room is not very big it was this really awkward, almost not big enough to be a walking space. And so it just made sense to push the bed to the right hand side of the room to make a bigger area on the left hand side of the bed. And these books are the Peter Rabbit collection. I ordered these off of Amazon. I love that they're just classic books. I read these when I was a kid, so it just seemed fitting for my girls to have them as well for their room. I switched out the light in my girl's room. It came with this very like, I don't even know what type of light it is, but this light was in all of our bedrooms here at the house. And it's just like a very cheap, um, I don't even know, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> but I ended up taking it down and I found this beautiful semi-globe flush mount from Amazon. I really liked the modernness of this light. I felt like it was gonna just balance out the design of this room. So we have a traditional bed, a modern light, a traditional dresser, and I just wanted it to feel a little transitional. And so I wanted to add in a modern light and I felt like this was a perfect addition for this room. And then of course we also have some nice white curtains. I always have curtains on hand, um, whether I'm doing like a room makeover or I'm helping a sibling or a family member do a space and they need a pair of curtains, I always have a white pair. I don't know why. So I have these white linen, <clears throat> so I have these white curtains. These are actually from Ikea. You guys can buy them online. These are a nice thick, I wanna say they're like a canvas fabric. They're very thick. And the other white curtains I had up previously were linen, but they were just too light for this room. This, with the wallpaper being so heavy and busy, um, this window really needed some heavy material curtains. And I felt like these ones were perfect. And I had them on hand from our previous homes and they just worked out great. The last few touches for this room is in this corner, we have their closet door, but I also wanted to add a hanging chair. I thought this would be a really cute addition. I love the little boho touches and the hanging canvas fringe and my girls love this chair. I did have to give them a warning and say, hey, it's not a swing like outside. <laughs> this is an indoor swing. We don't go crazy, but they love to cuddle up in here with their iPad or when they play the Switch. They also like to look at, they don't read yet, but they also like to look at their books over in this corner. So this was a perfect area. Instead of just doing like a plant or a big tree, I wanted to mix it up and I wanted to give them a cute, fun activity to do in their room and they love this swinging chair. So behind the swinging chair, I purchased these two natural wood frames from Target. I wanted to add some type of art and I was originally thinking about you know drawing up some art for their room maybe doing some sketches of bunnies but you know after installing the wallpaper I had so many extra scraps I thought it'd be a great idea to frame some of the scraps and turn them into framed artwork for the room and that worked out perfectly because they matched the room and I love the lemons so I wanted to highlight the lemons there were so many different aspects I could have pulled but I was really loving the
the pop of yellow in these frames for this little corner. And then last but not least, we also have the rug. So for this room, I, it, I was contemplating between two different styles of rugs, but this one I ended up choosing from Target. This is from Studio McGee. This is a five by seven rug, and I love the pattern of it. I love, it's plush, it's super soft on the feet. If you guys are familiar with my channel, I, I love plaid, as you can tell. I love this rug. I love the nice checkered pillows. Um, there's just something about it that's very timeless and classic in my opinion. Um, so I love this rug for the room. It was very neutral. It didn't have a lot of color in it and I didn't, uh, you know, I just wanted something that was going to be very subtle but comfy on their floor. Oh, and before I forget, the other thing that we also did is we swapped out their light switches. I found these light plates from Amazon and these were amazing. They were about $15 a plate. Yes, you want to sit in your chair. <laughs> but I found these plates from Amazon. They were about $15 a piece. And I love, I wanted to just tie in a couple more gold accents. So I ended up swapping out their light switch and the outlet covers. And that just helped tie in the gold accents in their room. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys love room makeovers, don't forget to check out my dining room reveal down below.